Decluttering is difficult, right? It's hard to know what to keep and it's hard to know what to give away. That's why in today's video, I wanna share with you my four helpful questions to make decluttering instantly easier. First question is, when did you last use this item? Chances are, if you have to think about it, then you probably haven't used it in the last month or two. This is a great question to ask yourself because honestly, if you haven't used something in the last three months, are you going to use it? Do you use all of the hand lotions that are in your bathroom cabinet from Christmases gone by? Are you sure that you really need two soles in your garage? Often these items that we hold in our hands that we haven't used in the last couple of months are items that we have collected and are not items that we use. So a great first question to ask yourself when you're decluttering is when was the last time I used this item? If it was a long time ago and you're not going to use it again, then I really encourage you to declutter it. If it's an item that maybe you use occasionally, then a great question to ask yourself is can I borrow this item? So for us, we don't actually have like a garden shovel or spade. I only use that occasionally and so I borrow that from a friend or a family member. So one thing that can really help me with decluttering is when was the last time I used this item and could I borrow this item? The second question you wanna ask yourself is does this item add value to my life? I define items that add value to your life under three categories, function, need, and beauty. Functional items are things like chairs. <laughs> I like to sit on a chair and therefore I have it. I do not declutter it. I keep it because I use it. Need items are things like kitchen knives. The knife itself does not really add a mass amount of value to my life, but the food that it creates really does. And the third category is beauty. For example, these candlesticks behind me, they're not really a functional item and I don't need them, but they add beauty to my life and so I do not declutter them. So the second question that's really helpful to ask is does this this item add value to your life. Chances are if you went to your kitchen and pulled out all of your cupboard, you would find food processors, zesters, handy, gimmicky, gadgety things that were meant to make your life easier, but they didn't. These items don't usually add value to our life and are a really helpful way to begin decluttering. So the second question is, does this item add value to my life, whether that is by function, need, or beauty? Question number three, why do I have this item? The reality is in our lives, we collect stuff. We accumulate stuff. And a really helpful question is, why do I have this item? Do I have this item because it adds value to my life or do I have this item simply because it's in my house? And so if the answer is I have this item simply because it's in my house, then it could be a really cool item to declutter, to give to someone who will actually use it or if it just needs recycled. Number four and my favorite question of all to ask when decluttering and that is if I was to move tomorrow, would I keep this item? If I had to pack up all of my house, and move tomorrow. Would I want to pack it? Would I want to spend the time packing it and unpacking it? Is it worth bringing with me if I move? Honestly, this is a really helpful question because when we're just kind of in our space, living in our space, don't really have to do much with the stuff in our space, we can forget how much we actually have. Whereas when we go through our space and look at every item that we have and think, if I was to move tomorrow, would I bring this with me? Then that can be really helpful for us identifying the items that actually are just clutter and the items that add value to our life. So guys, I hope that was helpful. That's four questions to ask yourself to instantly make decluttering easier. If this video was helpful, please do give it a like and please do consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.